Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for June 8th, 2020. We are going to start with the SPY. We had a mega, mega level on Friday, 19 million late dark pool buy prints. That's a lot. That's why we're up. 311.30 was the level, and as you can see, we're at 321. Uh, bullish above 320.50 this morning, and we've started to uh, move up here on the SPY. Bear below 319 <coughs> for a retracement trade. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis bullish above 32.10 and bearish below 31.85. We'll go to the Russell. We had a new level, not a mega level, but still 2.1 million, 144.69. And we are well above that. Yeah, no selling yet. Uh, bullish above 152, and we've gone up quite a bit already. Uh, bearish below 149.80. Let's go to the QQQs. Bullish above 240.25. And bearish below 238. No new levels for the Qs. Q is actually a little bit quieter. The NASDAQ, yeah, definitely showing weakness. You can see the NASDAQ futures are negative, so weakness in technology. Um, bullish above 98.30, bear below 9,800, and we've just gone down and hit our first target. Look at that, 97.85. That is our first target there. That's the four EMA retracement. Uh, it does move, so wherever that is, is going to be support on the daily chart. Oh, let's hop over to oil futures. Just give me a moment to bring these guys up. Yeah, I'm looking at the August contracts. All right, here we go. Oh, they took a little bit of a dip this morning. Uh, bullish above 40.37 and bear below 39.75. And we've gone down um, already. Yeah, I was looking at this big volume bar. You see this one? Holy cow, that is massive. That's why I was bearish uh, below 39.75 and I was bullish above. So following that pre-market volume is key when it comes to those oil futures. Um, gold futures. Yeah, let's make these bigger. All right, we're going to be bullish above 17.10 and bearish below 1690. We've gotten some really big prints that came in last week on IAU. I suspect there's going to be more. Yeah, so relax. We'll have a good gold trade, but they don't move it until they're done, so we'll see what comes in today. But let's go to the airlines. Yeah, the airlines are active once again. American Airlines uh, came up and hit this 200 simple moving average right on the head. Sellers came in, they brought it down. We're kind of stuck in between two big moving averages that I love, the 200 and the, uh, the 120, this dotted purple one. Yep, so who's gonna win out here? We're gonna be bullish above 2075. The second time we hit that 200, there should be less sellers, or we're gonna be bearish below 1950 and then the second time we hit this, there should be less buyers. So we'll see who wins that battle. Let's go to UAL, bullish above 47.20. Um, you can see there's a lot of room to go up here and then to hit this 120 over there. And uh, bearish below 45.50 for a retracement trade back down there. Let's go to Carnival. Yeah, Carnival's been super. Uh, bullish above 26, and here we go. There's a trade set up till we go up to, uh, see how I put those guys here? The 161 EMA and the 120. Yeah, they're just popping up everywhere right now. Uh, bearish below 24.50. And Delta, bullish above 37.20 and bearish below 36. You... S O bullish above 30 today. That's a major level for USO. And uh, we're going to be bearish below 29.25. We're coming down to that 
right now for a retracement trade. And of course the banks, the banks were super hot. They're very extended. Will they extend some more? Well, Bank of America has a trend line right here, but if it can break above it, most likely go to 30, pull back and then rip. So bullish above 29, up to 29.87. A last eighth is the most expensive eighth before that 30. Bearish below 28.50 for a retracement. Let's go to Norwegian. We're going to be bullish above 26.50 and bear below 25 for Norwegian. Wells Fargo was a phenomenal trade last week as well. Um, we are uh, hitting up against this trend line here. We're going to be bullish above 33.50 and bearish below 32. And let's talk about GDX. Yeah, so again, I'm really waiting on this. Not sure if it's gonna be a great trade today, but there's a small trade if it could break above the four EMA to the eight. There's a little pocket there. Really, the big trade is here down, but I'm not sure if it, it'll get chopped up today. So that's why I chose the, the 32 level to be bearish below. This could be uh, tomorrow's trade setup. But you never know. So I just want you to be prepared uh, for it either way. That is the GDX. Oh, let's go to Tesla. I know a lot of my traders in the room love Tesla. Who's trading Tesla today? Mm-hmm. Tesla, bullish above 907.50. Yeah, the reason I picked that level is because right here this camarilla yeah while there is a small trade here from 900 th there's going to be some major resistance there so that's why i picked this trade on the upside and then this trade on the downside yeah for me this is a lot of camarillas no trading zone all right so i'll even widen that but if you're gonna scalp a little bit, then that's a different story. But the big trade setups are there. Let's go to Exxon Mobil. Holy cow, Exxon has been a beast. Bullish above 56 and bearish below 54.80. There you have it, those are your whispers for June 8th, 2020. Until next time, happy trading. Nothing in, that's my secret.